Hey, David here with Spectora. We're going to go through the template editor in this video to show you all the ways you can customize your template. We'll then take a look at some sample reports uh, to show you how things look. So from your dashboard, uh, look at your navigation bar, click into templates. First thing we will see when we're starting out is uh, under my templates in the top right, uh, we do have two options. Uh, the first one will be a standard residential template. Uh, you can see this is mainly organized by system of the home on the left hand side under sections. You can also switch to room by room residential, and this is organized mainly by um, the areas of the home, uh, different bedrooms, uh, etc. Um, figure out which one fits you best, and, and then you can start from there. What I want to show you as well is different uh, templates that you can download. If you go to your template center, uh, in this template center, you can download um, any other form you see there, uh, free of charge. These are things like the NPMA 33. You can download a commercial inspection template, pre drywall, swimming pool, mold template. Anything you want to download from the template center, you can then customize it. We also have our special forms for our inspectors in Florida, as well as Texas, not as, as customizable, but the forms that you need by your state will be found in the template center as well. So check it out, download the templates that you need. Uh, the last button on the top right is gonna be this one with the three vertical dots. If you click into this drop-down menu, the most important setting here is going to be your uh, add templates button. This is going to be where you can build a template from scratch. You can clone a template and start using that copy template to make additional edits to it. You can also import from another software. Uh, we do have a select few other uh, templates that we can import. These are going to be uh, links to articles to read up a little bit more if you do plan to import templates from any of these other software. All right, let's look into the structure of our template. So to start, you're going to see your list of sections on the left. Um, you can customize these to start. You can reorganize them. If you want, just click and drag, change the order of your sections. You'll also see when you hover your mouse over a, a section, these icons on the right. For example, the pencil icon, this will allow you to change the name of your section. You can change the standards of practice. I'll show you in a sample report later where those will show up on the report. You can also set up reminders for you or other inspectors on your team to see uh, when they are working through their report on the app. Lastly, we do have this optional or included in every report setting. If it's optional, it won't show up on your app right away. For any reason, you might be missing a section. Uh, it's probably because it's an optional section and on the mobile app, you can add it. Um, of course, you can change those settings here, optional or included in every report that'll show up on your app right off the bat. So good settings to note there. We also have another icon uh, the middle icon, this will duplicate any section. You'll see this icon on items and comments as well. So if you do want to duplicate a section, you can choose the section you want, and then you can choose the template you want. Maybe I want to move my exterior section over to room by room, click duplicate, and now I will find a copy of this section in my other template. Um, down below, your section list, you will see this plus section button. This is where you can add a blank section. You can also undelete a section if you accidentally delete the wrong one. And then below that, we have attachments. This is a general template setting. If I attach a PDF to this template, then anytime that I use this template on a report, the PDF will accompany it and be shown to the client on the client portal. It could be a PDF of uh, standards of practice, for example, or anything. All right, let's take one step further and look at our items. Any section you click on, you will see the list of items on the left. Again, you can customize these. You can click and drag and rearrange the order. Click the pencil to edit the name, make it an, uh, an optional item if you prefer. Duplicate this item to a different section in this report or into another. This additional icon here. This is a move item. 
So if you don't want to duplicate something, if you just want to move it, it'll remove it from the original position and place it permanently in the new position. And then of course our trash can, anything you need to delete uh, from your template, you can delete that. All right, you can also add items just like you can in sections. If you accidentally delete the wrong item, you can undelete it there as well. Now, every item is gonna have its comments. That's gonna be the third layer of our template. We can see our comments here, the informational, it'll have a green logo next to it. Limitations will be orange and deficiencies will be red. Now, with these three different types of comments, um, you can add comments to anywhere in your template, but certain comments have different options uh, as far as answer formats. For example, I can see this material comment is a multiple choice. I can add different choices uh, to this um, materials comment as well. If I want to create new comments, I can here with this new button. And to start out, I'm gonna give it a name followed by the answer format. We have checkbox. Checkbox is, is one of the most common. Basically, you will check the comment, it will activate the comment, and that comment will appear on your report. If you leave it unchecked on your mobile app, it won't appear on the report. So it's a present slash not present, a yes or a no answer, basically. You also have multiple choice as your second most common type of informational comment. This is more for your styles, your materials, maybe how you inspected something. You can have a comma separated list of answers and that will be uh, options for you to choose on your mobile app as well. Uh, a couple more, we have date, number, uh, we have a numeric range, signature, if you need to get a signature uh, on site through the app, uh, text box comment as well. Um, so feel free to explore some of these different options. When you create a new comment, feel free to click save. Once a new comment is in, you can also rearrange your comments in a different order uh, as well. Limitations, uh, any reason you did not inspect something to the fullest uh, extent, yeah, you should. Um, you can have different limitation comments here. Any comment you click into, you can adjust the title and uh, the text as well. And deficiency comments, same style. These are checkbox comments. So you will check them on on the app. They will be active and appear on your report. So this is your mini library. This is where you can create all of the potential defect comments you might need uh, to be at your disposal on the mobile app. You can also add new deficiency comment. They will just be checkbox style comments, but when you give it a name, and insert the uh, default text and click save. It will appear at the bottom of your defect comment list. You can click and drag and move it anywhere you need to. A few other ways to customize these comments that are already here. You can change the comment title, change the text here as well. Uh, you can set a different defect category. We will walk through this a little bit more um, later in this video. You can have up to three defect categories in your template. You can preset which category you would like this comment to be on, as well as a recommendation. This will be a list of uh, people you may recommend to a client uh, to get in touch with to fix whatever deficiency you have called out. Uh, that is another setting. You can have it turned on, or you can remove those recommendations if you prefer to not have them. All right, let's take a close look at our template setting. So you can click the name of your template at the top of your screen. This will open up your template settings. To start, we, we see we can change the name. The top name is just the internal name I will call my template. The friendly display name is what the client will see. So that can be something completely different, something a little more uh, basic for the client to see, such as residential report. We have our header text to start. This will be at the very top of your report. This is the full report header text. We also have a summary header text as well. We'll take a look at what that looks like later. Under display options, uh, most of these have screenshots on the left you can click into to, to view what they look like. 
we'll walk through them together. Um, things like category counts, those are your different defect um, categories, your total items you inspected, uh, your signature on the report, the standards of practice where they show up. We'll walk through these section set settings a little bit more. We have PDF options as well, table of contents, defect list, that is a miniature summary in your full report on the PDF. You can customize a footer text to be at the bottom of every page on your PDF. Uh, moving down a little further, you can also customize the defect label, whether you want to call them deficiencies, findings, observations, you can name that here. Item ratings, this will have an overview grid on your report uh, where you can rate uh, an item. Maybe it was inspected, not inspected, not present, or you found a deficiency. Um, this has a grid on the report. We'll take a look at what that looks like. You can turn these on, um, have a classic rating system, have a custom rating system to change the name of your ratings. You can have it turned off altogether and it not show on the report. And then defect categories. We have up to three. You can take this down to two or just one. Uh, but you can change the name of each category, blue, orange, and red, and also determine which of these categories will appear um, on the summary of your report. All right, let's look at a few sample reports. So I want to um, point out a couple of these template settings. Um, I've pulled up a few sample reports. I will link these samples in the description below so you can check them out and check out a few other sample reports um, when you have some time. This is one where we can see right off the top, we have our header text, the text right at the very top, whatever you wanna have the client read right away, it will be in your header text. If we scroll down a little bit more, uh, we see our informational comments in this information tab. So typically the first section of your report, inspection details will be just a few informational comments. You can have pictures and uh, videos as well in any of these comments. Let's keep going down and we see roof. So this is our first uh, section that has real deficiencies in it. And so we can tell uh, with the item ratings turned on, we have our overview grid. Overview grid will be the first tab your clients will see. Whichever item ratings you have customized will be on the right. Um, if, I, if I am your client and I choose to keep reading further, I can click information and now I can see all of your information comments on the roof. Uh, these shorter ones will be typically three across. Uh, any longer comments with, with longer text or photos will be typically at the bottom just to save on space and keep uh, organized. We have standards. So you have your standards of practice and you choose to show them, they will live in their own tab as well. So your clients and agents can choose how much information they want to see when reading through your report. We have our deficiencies. We can see our color coordinated uh, deficiency comments. If we hover over them, we'll see the names, uh, but it's good practice to put the definitions of your defect categories in your header text as well. So your agents will know right away what each color means to you, how you define them. We can see our recommendations here, who we recommend the client to contact. If I scroll down a little bit more, I can kind of see a few more different recommendations here. If there's a lot of text in my deficiency comments, I can click in, open up a little bit more to read fully as well as the photos, open up the photos, see more detail um, on my screen. Uh, another way that your clients or your agents can read a report, at the very top, we have a summary button. So if I click summary, that will get rid of all of my informational comments, my grids, my standards of practice, and only show me my deficiencies. This is an example of now us looking at my header text for my summary specifically stating to my client, this is only the summary. Um, another setting, uh, as we looked, you can say which defect category will be in your summary. For this example, the blue level deficiencies are not in the summary, so there are only orange and red level deficiencies here. Of course, I can take this one step further and click my immediate concern button. 
and shrinks it down to just my red level deficiencies. Whatever I call my red level deficiency will be the name of this button here. Three quick ways to view the report. We also have our PDF on the right where you can view the summary or the full report in PDF format. Let's take a look at another quick sample to see a few other settings. We have uh, our category count summary, another setting in our template settings. This will show us um, our bubbles saying we have seven maintenance items or whatever you refer to your blue level deficiency at, eight recommendations, six de defects. Again, whatever you name your defect categories will show in these bubbles. Um, this inspector uh, here doesn't have a header text, but goes right into the uh, header text like uh, descriptions of what he is reporting on and his defect categories and so on in his first section. So a few ways you can organize it at the end of the day, uh, whatever you think suits you best. We have a couple settings um, to help get you there. All right, hopefully that gives you a clear look at how to edit your template, as well as a couple of these quick template settings look on a report. Um, check out the sample reports in the description below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us on the chat bubble.